So other kinds of information content that people ask us about with the bike maps data is, well, what's the difference between a near miss and a collision? And what's the difference between the data that you're collecting and the official police data? So we've also looked at those kind of things. For sure, a near miss um, is different to an experienced bicyclist than it is to someone who's just new on a bike. And if you think about the psychological impact of a near miss, if you are out for the first time biking and you have a near miss, you might, might be a long time before you want to get back on your bike. Whereas if you, have, you, know, you already bike a lot and you have a near miss, you might carry on with your day without it having you know, a big impact. So it is really important to think about um, near misses and overcoming, regardless of how you define a near miss, just for overcoming sort of individuals' concerns about near misses. What we see is that there's more near misses reported on commute trips versus recreational rides. There's more um, near misses reported when a motor vehicle is involved and on a location that doesn't have a bike facility. So we think that these last two things, interactions with mo motor vehicles and also locations without bike facilities are probably incidences where the, you the bicyclist feels whether it's real or perceived, it doesn't matter. They are perceiving that they're in a dangerous situation. So that it's important to create physical barriers between bikes and facilities in order to make bicycling more safe or to feel more safe. And when it feels more safe, then more people have access to this healthy and economically beneficial mode of transportation. And then when you look at the crowdsource data versus the official reports, we see a higher odds of crowdsource collisions reported during peak hours of traffic um, in the middle of a block as opposed to on an intersection. And this could be because in a lot of official reports, they just sort of ballpark where the incident occurs at the nearest intersection. And we're also seeing more crowdsource reports on bike facilities. So we tend to see official reports like the police reports where you have a lot of cars, but the bike maps data shows up where you have a lot of bikes. So I think, you know, both are important information sources, but it can be really most valuable to combine them together. <laughs>